What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here and welcome to another video. Uh, you kind of got clickbaited fam, but at the same time, it's kind of true. This is going to be my last outfit video with this wardrobe. I've been hinting this new series over the past couple of videos and I, this is basically going to be my last couple of outfits that I can do with the wardrobe that I have currently. Um, I'm gonna try and change things up once I get like new clothing and everything like you can already tell a little bit what I have But for the time being these are the last outfits I'm gonna have some of these items or most of these items Excluding the BK will be up for sale just DM me and I will post it on my Instagram IG story So uh, if you want to stay up to date with what items I'm gonna sell Follow me on IG Things I'm going to sell are going to be my both pairs of needles, my Uniqlo seamless down puffer and other stuff like that. So if you are keen on copying, go ahead and follow me on the IG fan. I'm going to show off three outfits and to be very honest with you guys, I don't have much left. I don't really have anything anymore. I sold most of my pieces and I've uh, sold my Rick crop trousers. That was like a very, very sad moment in my life. I've sold my Creech cargos. I have like no Rick pieces left. I'm looking at everything right now and I have fuck all. We'll get on to the first outfit and outfit number one is the outfit that I wore. I literally said outfit like four fucking times. Holy shit. <laughs> it's an outfit I wore over the past, as soon as I got these pieces, I wore this a lot. Um, so I'm just wearing just a simple tee underneath. You're not really gonna see it anyway because like you don't ever see it. Um, I've got my Gildan hoodie, which is a piece that everyone always asks me about when I was wearing them in my past couple of videos. It's just the Gildan hoodie that I took the drawstrings out, and so it's just like super clean on the neck. Um, yeah, you don't have to go out and pay stupid prices for a hoodie. You literally go to Gildan and pay 30 bucks, and it looks just as good, if not better. But as soon as you wash it, they're like super fucked. And the outerwear piece is my bare knuckles, pinstriped red and black denim jacket, which they are doing a restock on, so keep your eyes peeled if you do want to cop. This combo, like hoodie and jacket combo, I wore a lot over the past couple weeks and I absolutely love it. I love just the contrasting gray and that faded black look, kind of like goes hand in hand with the top and tucking in that hoodie, which is something that not many people do. Um, I actually tucked in the hoodie into my bare knuckles, uh, Japanese salvage skinny denim, and I have my wannabe elite belt just to spice up the belt because you definitely always need a belt. It's not overly too skinny, but it's not straight cut either. It's just that perfect skinny fit that just doesn't show my quads, or should I say, quadzillas. And not showing off my really tiny calves. So having that like almost skinny cut and then cuffing them. Boots, obviously, SRP Ranger boots, the non-zip. And if you want to go into more detail, these are the 11 eyelet boots. So they're not the eight. I think the eight is the next one below and it like super shit. Yeah. Not only am I pairing up the uh, wannabe elite spout from eBay, I've got the chain, which is super overdone. I fucking know. And pairing up the chain with the uh, black milk keychain just to like sprinkle more accessories in this fucking fit. Getting on to outfit number two is uh, no black. It literally has no black apart from the shoes. It actually um, has a really nice contrast in color. I really, really fuck with this. So the top is actually my Adidas sweatshirt. It's a vintage logo sweater, which I picked up like seven years ago. I've mentioned this in my um, recent outfit video, if you are wondering. And it's very cropped. Well, it's not very cropped, but it suits it's not long either, so proportions are really good. And the elastic waistband at the bottom is not tight, it's just there for show, so it kind of like just drapes nicely. Oversized, boxy, faded and bad. I'm faded, 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 faded as hell. And like the neckline's super loose and it's just faded. I think it's just good because it adds like a bit of character. And pairing that top with the bottom, just that so sexy contrast and color. They are the Needles trousers. They were a collaboration with Chow Panic, that's what it's called. Chow Panic or Sire Panic, whatever. Collaborated with them and it was super wide, but I ended up getting them um, tapered and hemmed a bit more and they look perfect. Perfect for people who are my height. So yeah, go ahead and cop. Enough with the selfless plug vibes, calm the fuck down. Basically, I love the contrast and colors, that turquoise pairing up with that blue. It's not over the top and it's not overly done. I just think it looks so freaking sick. And pairing the bottoms with the Vans, the ASAP Rocky combo. As we all know, everyone wears this, but it's actually such a sick fucking combo that I absolutely love to death. 
I would have loved to want another shoe, but I can't show you yet because I've already picked it up for the new wardrobe, so I can't really fucking show you. But the vans will do it in the meantime, and the old school model is just a simple model that everyone can find, and you can beat them to death, and it doesn't really matter. It's a very cozy type fit, but still like putting in effort when it comes to a fit, if that makes sense. And not to mention, it needs accessories like just two chains and rings and whatnot, but I uh, can't really show you that either because I picked them up, but. It's for a new wardrobe, so I still can't fucking show you. <sighs> Nevertheless, getting on to outfit number three, last but not least, my beanie keeps fucking lifting. I don't really know why. Uh, is a black and white fit, and honestly, it's just because, like, I don't really have anything left, so you're just going to have to make do vibes, so... White tee, tucked in, and then my outerwear piece it is my Zara puffer jacket, cropped, boxy, just... Oh, it's so freaking nice, and... Yeah, I, I can't really say much about this. Like, I could take the hood if I want to, but I love having the hood on. It just adds that extra bulkiness and puffiness to the jacket. Um, white tee tucked in, just to, you know, keep my proportions, my upper and bottoms proportionate. And the pants that I'm going with, that I've wrapped with my wannabe elite spout, as always, is a pair of trousers which everyone asked me when I was in, when I posted on my IG story, sorry. I posted these and everyone asked me what were these. They're just a pair of Dickies Cargos. Like, Dickies Cargos from Walmart. They were, I believe, like $25 or something like that. I hemmed them myself, so thanks to me, they look fucking mint. It did take me a very, very long time, though. Don't get me wrong. I fucking hated it. But they came out pretty good. I just altered the length to my like and eventually got the perfect length. Pairing the Dickies Cargos with brown socks and also my Sui Coke GGAVs. I just think the brown sock just kind of spices up in terms of an earthy tone, just because it's still very monochromatic in terms of black and white. So having that hints of color that's very subtle kind of adds a bit of a flair to that lower part of the footwear. And the Sui Coke, it's a trending silhouette that's been like, it's getting overdone to an extent, but I don't really care because it still looks so freaking good. And this is an outfit I wore when I just go to uni, want to be cash, but at the same time, you can take the jacket off, white tee, black trousers, Sui Cokes. It's very simple. But sometimes simple is better because, you know, apparently less is more. And yeah, I mean, I always, I always end it with, and yeah, these are my three bits, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So those are my three outfits. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I don't really know how to end this shit. I never fucking do. Anyways, I'm gonna make, just keep up to date on my IG. I can't speak right now. Keep up to my IG. Oh my fucking God, man. I don't really know how like how I can end this apart from that, but hopefully you did enjoy that. Let me know what you thought your favorite outfit was. I will have like a little snippets of these outfits here and there. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought your favorite outfit was. And also if you want to stay up to date of what pieces I will be selling, don't forget to just hit me up on IG, follow me on IG and keep it up for the IG story. And make sure you subscribe to the gang because here on Vidugo Vibes, I upload one to two videos every single week. And click that notification bell because this series is going to be so fucking lit. God, I really hope it is. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I will see you guys in the next video on Vidugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.